Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Brad here, and bringing you another Black Ops 2 Double Swim with Every Gun video. Today, it's on the map of Nuketown using the FAL with reflex and stock. And in this gameplay, I got my friend um, NYX Burgers, and he helped me with this gameplay by capping the B flag for me and just shouting out enemies where they are. So, a big thank you to him, otherwise, this gameplay would not be possible. So, today, by the title, you can see that I want to talk about my wish list for Call of Duty 2014 the things that I do and do not want in the game. Um, you could have your own opinion to this. I'd like to. I'd like everyone to comment down below what you think of my list and what you would like to see in the next Call of Duty, or you don't want to see in the next Call of Duty. So, firstly, no more perks that allow you to easily hear the enemy footsteps. So, no more sit rep amplifier awareness. Just get rid of them all and don't even bother putting them in the game. Why? Because people just camp their asses off for kill streaks when they can hear a few footsteps coming up behind them. You're basically forced to use dead silence in ghosts because so many people just use amplify. Like in pretty much every single one of my classes, I've got ghosts on. Oh, not ghosts, dead silence. Because everyone just sits still and just listens for footsteps. You cannot have fun in ghosts without dead silence. Even with dead silence, you, you your footsteps will still be able to get heard. So I don't even know why it's called dead silence if it doesn't even live up to its name. It just makes why it's called Dead Silence if it doesn't even live up to its name. It just makes the game slow paced and that's why everyone hates Call of Duty Ghosts. So secondly, um, make all UAV Jammer, Ghosts, Assassin, off the grid perks. Make them all so you have to be moving around like in Black Ops 2. Uh, it made people actually just run around because they didn't want to be get, they didn't want to be seen in the UAV. But when you got the V set, they were fucked anyway. So it's just it's just logic, it makes the game more fun and fast paced if you make the ghost so you have to be moving around like in, in ghosts I know they try to switch it around with the satcoms but still it's not hard to get two fucking satcoms up like anyone can do that in one game so hopefully they'll figure something out and try to copy off Treyarch and make the game fun again um, thirdly make snipers actually a sniper rifle not some shotgun with sniper damage and range and shit so no more of these fucking instant scopes at point blank range and where I don't even get a chance to react because you, as soon as you press the left trigger all you gotta do is press the right trigger and you're fucked you, you don't have a chance to do anything like make it so you have to like hold your breath for at least two seconds before you shoot or just make up some other bullshit to make it not happen all the time or make bolt action snipers have to hold their breath for two seconds and semi-automatics can do it but they are really weak or something. I don't fucking know. Think of something. You, you've you made Call of Duty games before. Well, Sledgehammer worked in Modern Warfare 3 but still, come on, you can do something about it. Everybody fucking complains about the snipers. Uh, fourth is bring back the Black Ops 2 score streak system so where you get rewarded for everything. Assists, destroying streaks, destroying equipment, capping flags, planting bombs, you know what I'm talking about. Make it so people actually play the objective and not sit back and wait for people to run by while they fucking get their guard dog or their lightning strike or fucking their candy UAV or something. Make it so people actually want to go capture the B flag at the start of the game or mid game or whenever you fucking want to. Or go cap the A flag when the enemies are going for B. Just make it so people will actually help you capture the flag and not so I always have to do it by myself and then get killed when I've almost got it because my teammate stands there watching me die. Um, fifth is make the game fun with all the old game modes like infected, gun game, demolition, hardpoint, like at least 70% of the community like these game modes. Like I go on Ghost and there's always about 5,000 people playing gun game or infected. Like everyone loves it. Why would you not bring it back into the next Call of Duty? Especially with demolition and hardpoint, like they were one of the most popular game modes in Black Ops 2. So they should have just brought it straight back into the next game and just made everyone happy. But no, because when you get killed by like some camper in TDM or some bullshit, you just want to go play gun game and win it. Because when you win, you fucking feel a lot better. Because I do this all the time, because I just get bullshitted on or some fuck fucking wanker is using Amplify with the fucking AK-12 sitting in the corner, waiting for me to cop onto the B flag and try and capture it. So if you just go get in gun game or play infected to get a few fair, a fair few kills before you get lunged across the map, it'll it's a bit of fun. Like I like to do it all the time. Like I said, um, no more dark areas like a fucking corner that's 
I don't know, blacker than a fucking dark room at night. Just make it all the maps bright, unless it's like a rainy map or something like that, but still, like, we want to be able to see the enemies. We don't want to be fucking using our thermal target finder scopes just so we can see them. We want the maps to be bright, like, hijacked, like that. You can barely even camp in that map, except for the two top rooms. Even Nuketown sometimes. There's literally nowhere dark, because it's just a lot funner when the maps are bright and you can actually see people. Um, no more target finder or track sites or thermal scopes. We do not need these. Red dot sight, ACOG, reflex sights are all the sights we need for our guns because I do not want to be killed by some corner camping LSAT target finder FMJ camping in a corner because he can't fucking play the game properly. If you can't see the enemy when you've got your iron sight on or red dot sight on, you probably should use fucking marks when you're off Modern Warfare 3. Like, if you fucking can't see the enemy that's right in front of you, you probably should fucking not play this game. And lastly, no more support streaks. Mix them all into one package. I don't want fucking EMPs and stealth bombers coming at me from a guy who's going 14 or 40 and then get like a multi, the no skill multi kill because he got a stealth bomber and sent it across the map. Or an oracle where you can fucking see people through walls. Or fucking, what else is there? Ground gem, oh, that's not too bad, but you know what I mean. You know all those support streaks that are fucking always overpowered, no matter what they try to do? Yeah, we do not want that. No one wants it. And bring back Specialist Local was in Modern Warfare 3, not how it's in Ghost, because it's absolutely fucking shit. Anyway, that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below, and let me know what you think about this list, and if you'd like to see something of Call of Duty Ghost...